Well, 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 here we are. Fed Day has finally arrived. It's uh, Wednesday, September 18th. And uh, in the pre-market this morning, stock index futures are currently trading above fair value. Commodities are currently mixed with gold up slightly while uh, crude oil is down in the pre-market. Now, there's going to be focus on crude oil later in the morning when the crude oil inventories come out at 1030. Uh, They could certainly help uh, change the direction of the energy sector on Wednesday. And then, of course, the main event starts this afternoon at 2, and uh, the prize fight starts at 2.30. That's the press conference. A week ago, uh, the market was betting on a 25-point rate cut, and now they're uh, betting on a 50-point rate cut. Uh, You know, this is a multi-part bet. Uh, A lot of people, I would say the majority of people that uh, bet uh, on Fed Day usually lose money. Uh, typically what happens is uh, somebody will put in a last minute uh, bet uh, whether the market's going to go up or going to go down and uh, then uh, volatility expands after 2.30 it uh, shoots up or shoots down and then uh, five minutes later it comes right back and a lot of people get kicked out of those last minute trades so uh, when I used to trade just the S&P 500 futures contract uh, what we used to do on Fed Day was go to the movies on the afternoon just to keep our hands away from the keyboard and uh, so we'll just have to wait and see Uh, the market is extremely overbought at the moment Uh, the vix is elevated and uh, this is not the time and place where we usually see markets make new all-time highs now in the bond market i just want to show you that the junk bonds are still doing incredibly well at the moment and of course, the junk bonds are the risk on area of the bond market. And uh, bond traders uh, seem to be still very, very bullish at the moment. Now, today could be uh, buy the rumor, sell the news. The market may get exactly what it wants today. And of course, we've been trading up into the Fed day. And uh, the market may want to reverse at this point. And of course, there was a, a nice uh, solar eclipse last night and uh, this is the time and place where that could happen there's no guarantee just don't be surprised if uh, uh, the market gets exactly what it wants and then heads in the other direction now looking at the vix the vix uh, moved up yesterday for the s p 500 the nasdaq and for the russell 2000 uh, we're still trading in the channel here there's no change in trend but uh, you know i keep talking about what normality is and for the vix the normality is down here around 1250 and if you look to the left, you'll see that, uh, you know, we traded along there for the longest time and the market was very happy. Here we are, uh, you know, where we're currently trading is what, 40, 45 percent higher than the 1250 level. So options traders are still w- willing to pay more for portfolio insurance right now, uh, even though we are hitting higher highs. You would think if the Dow is going to hit all time highs that the VIX might be hitting all time lows. And that is certainly not what's happening today. Now, when we look at the major index ETFs, so we'll start off in in New York. Uh, The Dow made a new high yesterday before pulling back slightly. Uh, The S&P 500 made a new high yesterday and uh, pulled back uh, going into the close, still closing slightly higher on the day. Uh, There's a new high for the equal weighted S&P 500. Uh, The Nasdaq's still been a bit of a drag over the past uh, couple of weeks, and uh, so we're not making higher highs right now. Uh, the Nasdaq closed slightly higher yesterday. The equal weighted pulled back slightly. The next generation Nasdaq made a new high and uh, gapped higher on the day. Uh, we're being held in check for the Russell 2000 for small caps and micro caps with the August highs. Uh, we've traded up to that level and looking to see if we can break through. If we can break through on Wednesday, we may take a run at those July highs. Looking at the Canadian market, well, there was a new high yesterday for the TSX, for the TSX 60 before pulling back uh, for mid caps. Small caps ran up to the previous highs that we've uh, hit several times over the past couple of months. And then the venture exchange starting to break out above the August high. So all of these charts look very bullish at the moment. Uh, Financials uh, were up on the day. Bank stocks were continued to move higher. Uh, We saw a small pullback in real estate. We made a new high on Monday. Uh, We uh, made a new high for the utility sector before pulling back slightly. Looking at the U.S. most actives from yesterday's trading action, NVIDIA pulled back slightly on the day, so no change in trend there. Uh, We had a bearish reversal day for Intel. It uh, ended the day still higher, over 2.5%. Traded up, uh, tried to break into the open gap and got sucked back down. Uh, So that might be as high as we can go for the time being. We'll just have to wait and see. 
Now, if, uh, you know, if it gets upgraded and it attracts new money, there's certainly an opportunity to trade up to the $25 level, uh, but uh, that's not something I'm going to chase at the moment. Uh, Tesla was up on the day, still trying to break out above 234.38. That has not changed. Uh, then looking at uh, Palantir, new high for Palantir yesterday. Uh, we saw money go back into plug power on Tuesday. It was up over 6% on the day, so still on a buy signal. We've got Ford back on a buy signal. Uh, then we've got uh, SoFi trading up to the previous high and stopping. Uh, no joy for Apple. It was an inside day yesterday, still on a sell signal, no change there. Uh, Neo uh, made a new high for this move yesterday. It's uh, clustering around the 200-day moving average. So we're still projecting higher prices here, but it's stuck to the 200-day at the moment. Uh, then looking at uh, American Airlines, no change in trend there. And then uh, Bank of America traded up to the upper channel line yesterday, looking for a close on uh, Wednesday above uh, $39.70. Moving on to the TSX most actives, uh, the energy stocks all moved up yesterday. Uh, no major changes for any of these. Canadian Natural Resources, Synovus, Suncor, Baytech, uh, they all moved up yesterday. Still on sell signals, no change there. With crude oil trading down in the pre-market, I'm not sure we're going to see fall through to the upside today, but it is Fed Day. Who knows? Now, anything financial related did well on Tuesday. We had a new high for the TD Bank. Uh, we had a new high yesterday for power. Uh, BC, unfortunately, rolled over on Monday and on uh, Tuesday, fairly quiet trading, holding the uh, 4650 level. No change there. Small pullback for TC Energy on Tuesday. A close below $62.28 would give us a sell signal on Wednesday. Inside day yesterday for Pembina, looking for a close on Wednesday below uh, $54.61. Uh, there's a new high for Manulife on Tuesday. Certainly no change there. Uh, no change for Bank of Nova Scotia, making a new high on Tuesday. And there we've got Great West also making a new high on Tuesday. And what do you know, CIBC also making a new high on Tuesday. Last up, uh, Barracks pulled back the last couple of days. Uh, it is uh, trading above the upper channel line, bouncing off of it yesterday. On uh, Wednesday, we're looking for a close below $26.89 to give us a new sell signal for Barrick. So possibly putting in a double top up there, but uh, that certainly has not been confirmed just yet. Okay, folks, that's all for this morning's presentation. Uh, today's not the day to be putting new money into the market ahead of what's going to happen this afternoon. Uh, what the market does, of course, nobody knows. Uh, nobody knows, uh, uh, you know, what the Fed's going to do. And then, of course, it's uh, what is the Fed going to say. And then, of course, it's how the market reacts to both of those. And uh, we'll just have to see. We're incredibly overbought right now uh, in a seasonally weak period for the market. Who knows what that means? Uh, you know, only time will tell. Uh, we do still have the VIX elevated. So that has me a little concerned. But uh, you know, the market's making new highs at the moment, and that's what the market is doing. So that, that is the reality we have to live with. Enjoy the rest of your day. Next time you'll hear my voice is on Thursday morning.